Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing what to do if the man don't want to marry you. Oh, this exhortation, we can stop it in about two seconds. What to do? Leave. Sisters, do not stay with a man who continues to keep you outside of the will of God. Sisters, if you keep waiting for him to get a better job, because men who are not in the fear and reverence of the Lord, they will tell you all kinds of stories and reasons why. And some of you women, you are now convinced. We want to wait till he gets a better job. We want to wait till he graduates college. He's been in college 10 years. And you're still in that same situation. We're going to get married when his family moves near to our house so that they can help us with the kids. Friends, don't let your flesh trick you. Don't let your, tr your flesh trick you. If the man does not want to marry you and you going on three years, four years, five years, heck, two years, a year, and he keep on, sister, it's time to wake up and pay attention. You got to demand your respect in Christ Jesus. We know that the scriptures are clear to us. And those of us who have ever fallen into fornication knows the, the pain and the agony of failing God morally. But when you continue to live this lifestyle of shacking with this man, and the reason this exhortation is for the women is because ladies, we are the reason so many men are doing the things that they're doing because we won't say no. We let them come and go. We do not stand in our morals and our values, all in the name of love. And one of the number one traps is the children. There are women who will say, I want us to raise our children. So you wait and you wait and you wait and you wait for this man to put a ring on it. You wait and you wait and you wait and you wait and you still do not have a commitment in the sight of God. But I want to challenge you, sisters. If you are fornicating with your, quote, fiance, if death comes, where do you think you are going to spend eternity while you're waiting on that man? Where do you think you're going to spend eternity, sister? Do not allow anyone to continue to lead you on. And I don't care. If you say, well, when I met him, I wasn't in Christ and now we live together and he don't want to get married for whatever his, what, for whatever is his reason, that's his problem. You have to work out your soul salvation with fear and trembling. It's time to say, bye-bye. I got to get up out of this situation. Sisters, listen. I don't care if you have to go live in a shelter. You need to get away from that man because he is taking advantage of you and he has you compromising your position with Jesus. I don't know about you, my friend, but I thank God for his grace and mercy because grace and mercy will come and undergird you to come up out of that situation. But without a will, there won't be no way. You got to say, I'm coming out of this. I am not staying in this fornication. This man, bye. Bye. I'm out. Keep your little ring. I don't even want the ring. Tell him. Sister, it's time to come out of that. Eternity is forever. 
and it is final. And when you get a hold to the fact that only eight people entered Noah's Ark. See, see, when I first met Christ and as he's navigating us and maturing us, I made mistakes. But what the Holy Spirit helped me to, to, to hold on to was these facts. No fornicator will enter the kingdom of God. All fornicators will be cast into the lake of fire. When the Spirit kept reminding me that Jesus shed blood, Jesus shed blood, he was beaten, he was bruised for our iniquity, that Jesus Christ, our Savior, he suffered for me. I didn't say he suffered for us. I said for me. So you got to make this thing personal. That I am harming. I am crucifying my savior. All over again. So you got to talk to yourself. You got to bring yourself to a place. Where that man. He. he I'm sorry. He lose. I'm out of here. You taking advantage of me. You taking advantage of my kindness. You taking a kind. Uh, or. Uh, some of us, we need to say, you taking my kindness for blindness. I ain't blind. You're using me. I'm compromising my walk with God. In fact, depending on where you are in this relationship, you don't even need to talk to him anymore. Want me to tell you why? Because he's your enemy. If that man keeps coming up with any earthly excuse other than to come in a covenant with you so he and you don't go to hell. There ain't nothing to talk about. He been talking. Oh, he been talking to you, sister. That's why you ain't got no ring. That's why, or some of you got the ring, but that's it. He got you the ring to shut you up. And here you are years and years in. And let me tell you something, sisters. You should run. See, 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 listen, I done heard every story out and seen it all, my friends. Them the type you need to run from. You don't want no man you got to twist him, his arm to marry you to honor the Lord. You don't want somebody like that. You need to run from him. You should be glad you ain't said, I do. You need to go get your business straight with the Father and repent and turn from that fornication and thank God. You will be miserable. The chances of you having a successful marriage. Because look how it started. Think about it. You pulling a grown man's teeth to do right in the sight of God. Think about it. Enough has been said. I love you, my sisters. Do what is right. Not what is easy. Because usually what is right, it ain't easy. Enough said. Till next time, I love you, my sister. Come out of that fornication. Come out of that foolishness. Don't let that man keep using you and emotionally taking advantage of you and causing you to walk in the way that is wide Come on back into the straight and narrow, precious sister. That man ain't worth it. And you don't need him to raise your kids. You and him can have a civil relationship. Because some of you are using that as an excuse while you're sitting there still fornicating, waiting on that man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't do it. He ain't worth it. God bless you, my sisters. Enough said. Till next time.